G'day. Welcome to the Simple Cooking Channel. Today, I'm going to cook something really, really yummy. It's called a creme brulee. Now, creme brulee is actually my favorite dessert of all time. So, you're not going to believe how easy it is, so let's go. Right, get a saucepan, turn it on to medium heat, and get thickened cream or heavy cream, and you want 600 mils. Put it straight in there. Then you want around one to one and a half teaspoons of vanilla essence. Just give that a little stir in. Now just leave that on medium heat. You don't need to stir it or anything. Now what we want to do is we want to scald it. We don't want to boil this, we want to scald it. So basically you'll see a bit of a film all over the top and you'll see some bubbles around the side. That's when it's ready. But you can also test it with your finger. If you put your finger in it and it's still and it's only warm, it's not ready. Put your finger in it and go, ooh, that's a bit hot. You're getting there. While the cream is warming up, get five egg yolks. Separate them, so we just want five egg yolks. Put them in a large bowl and put in one third of a cup of caster sugar and then just start start mixing. That's it. You don't want to do any more than that. We don't want to have a bunch of bubbles in there and lots of air because that will affect the product when it's in the oven. So just leave it like that. Now get the cream. It's not quite ready. It's almost. Just put just a little bit in and then stir it. This is called tempering, so you want to temper it. We don't want to cook the egg, so you just put a little bit in like that. Give it a little stir. Alright, this is ready. As you can see, there's a film on top and bubbles around the side. Now, you don't want to get rid of this film or anything, so we pour this straight into the egg mix. Alright, you pour that in and a little bit like that, give it a stir. Keep pouring it in, all of it. Give it a nice soft mix. We don't want to beat it and have it full of bubbles. Next you want to just strain this into some sort of jug. Now we want to get rid of these bubbles, so this will work beautifully. If you've got a blowtorch, if you don't, then just use a spoon. Now get some sort of tray that can go in the oven. Get some ramekins and then pour this straight into the ramekins. Almost to the top. Not quite. Just about there. Now what you want to do is get boiling water and pour it straight into the tray to about one third to halfway up. Then pop this in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes at 160 degrees Celsius or 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Right, they've come out of the oven. Now leave them on the counter for about 15 to 20 minutes just to cool a bit. Now these, these have cooled, these ones haven't, but they should look like this. Like, see how they're sort of wobbly, sort of like jelly? That's what they should look like. Now put these in the fridge for three to four hours or overnight to chill. Now roughly about one hour before you're gonna eat the creme brulee, get some brown sugar and lay it out thin on whatever, I've got it on some foil, just to let it dry. Now halfway, about 30 minutes into it, just mix it up so the top that's dry, the underneath will come over to the top. So you want this to be dry. Now this is the fun part. Get your brown sugar and remember the brown sugar you want to have sitting out for about an hour or so. You want it to be drying so it isn't so moist. Now just get a spoon or something to flatten it out. Alrighty, ready to go. Now 
hopefully you've got one of these, like a little blowtorch. You can buy these for about $10 or $15. If you don't, then just put this in the grill, turn the grill on, and just leave it under there until it's caramelized. So that's your other option. But if you've got this, yeah, go for it. Okay, that's enough to start for that one. You want to do it so it's just slightly starting to caramelize so it will just harden a little bit. There you go. Now leave that like that for about 20 to 30 seconds and then we'll give it another go. Where you want to get some parts of it sort of a little bit burned because it gives it a really beautiful caramelized flavor. Now you just want to do this until it's caramelized. And just leave that for five minutes, just for the top to completely harden, and then you get stuck into it. Now they're ready. See this? Should be a nice thin caramelized top. Oh yum. Let's get eating. Well I hope you like the creme brulee. Let's get straight into it. Mm. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, I'll see you next time for my next meal.